Today, let's delve into a distinct mnemonic that can assist in remembering the sequence of complications that arise after a myocardial infarction. Mnemonic, chest pain. Papa immediately vented vigorously against a dresser. Chest, first few days to months. Represents cardiac arrhythmia. Pain, days one to three. Signifies perinfarction pericarditis. Papa, days two to seven. Denotes papillary muscle rupture. Immediately, days three to five. Stands for interventricular septal rupture. Vented, days three to 14. Stands for ventricular pseudoaneurysm. Vigorously, days five to 14. Represents ventricular free wall rupture. Against, two weeks to months. Indicates true ventricular aneurysm. Dresser, weeks to months. Corresponds to Dressler syndrome, also known as post-cardiac injury syndrome. Dividing the timeline from chest to vigorously as the early stage and from against to dresser as the late stage can aid in recalling rough time estimates. Let's now break down the mnemonic components. Chest, first few days to months. Cardiac arrhythmia. Cardiac arrhythmias can arise due to the disruption of the electrical conduction system of the heart following a myocardial infarction. Ischemic damage to the heart tissue can create areas of altered conductivity, leading to irregular heart rhythms such as supraventricular or ventricular arrhythmia, or conduction blockage. Pain, days 1 to 3. Perinfarction pericarditis. Acute pericarditis occurs due to inflammation of the pericardial sac surrounding the heart. Following a myocardial infarction, inflammation can result from the release of inflammatory cytokines and cellular breakdown products into the pericardial space. This inflammation causes friction between the pericardial layers, leading to chest pain that worsens with movement and breathing. Papa, days 2 to 7. Papillary muscle rupture. Papillary muscles are responsible for stabilizing the heart valves. Following a myocardial infarction, decreased blood supply can weaken these muscles. The rupture of a papillary muscle can disrupt the function of the mitral valve, leading to acute mitral regurgitation. This sudden backflow of blood can cause heart failure symptoms like cardiogenic shock or severe pulmonary edema. Immediately, days 3 to 5. Interventricular septal rupture. Interventricular septal rupture is a rare but serious complication that occurs a few days after a myocardial infarction. It involves the rupture of the septum, the wall that separates the left and right ventricles. This can happen due to weakened tissue in the infarcted area. The rupture leads to a communication between the ventricles, causing blood to flow from the left to the right side of the heart. This can result in mild to severe pulmonary edema and cardiogenic shock. Vented, days 3 to 14. Imminent ventricular pseudoaneurysm. Ventricular pseudoaneurysm is a delayed complication that occurs between days 3 and 14 after a myocardial infarction. It develops when a weakened area of the heart's wall becomes encapsulated by scar tissue but is not fully contained by the heart's layers. Similar to a true aneurysm, this can bulge out during contractions, but it is not a true dilation of the cardiac chamber. The risk of rupture exists, which can lead to cardiac tamponade and other serious consequences like heart failure or embolus from mural thrombus. Vigorously, days 5 to 14. Ventricular free wall rupture. A free wall rupture is a serious complication where the infarcted heart muscle becomes thin and weak. Within the first two weeks after a myocardial infarction, the scar tissue is not fully matured and the weakened tissue can rupture, causing blood to leak into the pericardial space. This can lead to cardiac tamponade and shock. Against, two weeks. True ventricular aneurysm. True ventricular aneurysms develop as a result of weakened, scarred myocardial tissue that bulges outward during the contraction of the heart. 
This complication typically appears a couple of weeks after the initial myocardial infarction. The aneurysm can alter cardiac function, blood flow, and potentially lead to thrombus formation. Dresser, weeks to months. Dressler syndrome, also known as post-cardiac injury syndrome. Dressler syndrome is an autoimmune-mediated inflammatory response that occurs weeks to months after a myocardial infarction. It involves the immune system targeting cardiac antigens released during tissue damage. This can lead to pericardial inflammation, pleuritis, and fever, causing chest pain and other systemic symptoms. Understanding the pathophysiology of these complications can help medical professionals anticipate and manage these issues in patients recovering from a myocardial infarction.